Comfortably numb describes a state of delirium, a feeling of being detached from reality. Many assumed it's about drugs, but that's not so, according to Pink Floyd bass player Roger Waters, who wrote the lyrics and came up with the concept of the album The Wall, where the song appears. The lyrics describe how Waters felt as a child when he was sick with a fever. As an adult, he got that feeling again sometimes under different circumstances. He told Mojo Magazine in 2009 that the lines, When I was a child, I had a fever. My hands felt just like two balloons were autobiographical. He explained, I remember having the flu or something, an infection with a temperature of 105 and being delirious. It wasn't like the hands looked like balloons, but they looked way too big, frightening. A lot of people think those lines are about masturbation. God knows why. Mojo then asked Waters about the line, that'll keep you going through the show, referring to getting medicated before going on stage. He explained, that comes from a specific show at the Spectrum in Philadelphia in 1977. I had stomach cramps so bad that I thought I wasn't able to go on. A doctor backstage gave me a shot of something that I swear to God would have killed an elephant. I did the whole show hardly able to raise my hand above my knee. He said it was a muscular relaxant, but it rendered me almost insensible. It was so bad that at the end of the show, the audience was baying for more. I couldn't do it. They did the encore without me. This is the one I wrote, which they wrote the music for comfortably numb on if you which is a particular tuning. But it's not special, it's just an old ovation acoustic with, with uh, a different string set up. It's the same one I've had for since the sort of middle 70s. But because it's the one that um, I wrote that particular tune on, it, uh, it's remained tuned the same way and strung the same way ever since. David Gilmore believes this song can be divided into two sections, dark and light. The light are the parts that begin, when I was a child, which he sings. The dark are the, hello, is there anybody in there parts, sung by Waters. Waters and Gilmore had an argument over which version of the song to use on the album. They ended up editing two takes together as a compromise. Gilmore said in Guitar World in 1993, We changed the key of the song's opening from E to B, I think. The verse stayed exactly the same. Then we had to add a little bit, because Roger wanted to do the line, I have become comfortably numb. Other than that, it was very, very simple to write. But the arguments on it were about how it should be mixed and which track we should use. We'd done one track with Nick Mason on drums that I thought was too rough and sloppy. We had another go at it, and I thought that the second take was better. Roger disagreed. It was more an ego thing than anything else. We really went head to head with each other over such a minor thing. I probably couldn't tell the difference if you put both versions on a record today. But anyway, it wound up with us taking a fill out of one version and putting it into another version. This ended up being the last song Waters and Gilmore wrote together. In 1985, Waters left the band and was shocked that they kept it going without him. What was the disagreement then? Between, what, you know, oh, it was a he, fundamental he, disagreement, wasn't yeah, it, between oh, you, and, you and Dave? Yeah, it's really, really uh, simple. It's probably one story that um, where you, where his memory and my memory would probably be almost exactly the same. And it was that we had made um, a rhythm track. So that would be like drums, bass, guitar, whatever. And um, I loved it. And he thought, it wasn't precise enough rhythmically and recut the drum track and there's something else and said there that's better and i listened to it and i went no it's not i hate that and he went oh it's so so that was all the disagreement was and in the end the track that is on the record is you know the first verse is from the version i liked and the second verse is from the version he liked and then there's a bit of chorus from my one and a bit of it so we we compromise we, it was a negotiation and a compromise but it was very fine margins wasn't it by the sound of it no, um margins of perfection yeah ne ne neither he nor i would would accept that you know it's it's a, it's a very strange thing when you when you're a musician and you work in these things there are things that would that to a layman might seem like nothing a really kind of 
glaring and jarring on the air. Though I did read um, that David said somewhere or other about that, telling the same story. And he has the same story as me because I've read it somewhere. He said probably if we listened to it now, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference.